Rhubarb and custard are perfect pudding partners and this tray bake recipe makes the best of that beautiful relationship. Tart roast rhubarb in a light sponge with pockets of vanilla custard. And to start off with, I'm gonna roast the rhubarb. So just cut them into equal size pieces. Put them onto a tray. And then take some sugar and just sprinkle it over the top. So once they're all coated, that goes into a hot oven, 230 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. So my rhubarb is now roasted and cooled. So for the cake mix, I've got some softened butter and then some caster sugar, some flour, and then into the mix, some custard powder, which will obviously go really well with that roasted rhubarb, and then some ground almonds, which are gonna complement those flavors brilliantly. And then in with three eggs. and then just start to very gently incorporate everything. Now once all of your dry ingredients have started to mix in, you can increase the speed slightly and just mix until everything's thoroughly combined. Now ordinarily with a cake mix like this, as it's a little bit dry, you'd add a touch of milk, but I'm gonna use some fresh vanilla custard and give it another quick mix. and then it's time to just carefully fold in the rhubarb. And then take a baking tray, line with paper, and just spoon the mixture in. And then just smooth it down, getting right into the corners. Now don't worry about being too neat because the next stage is great fun. I'm just gonna take a spoon and just make a load of wells in the cake mix. You can be pretty random about this, just make lots of little dips. And then take the rest of the custard and spoon it into these holes. And what will happen is as the cake mix bakes, it'll bake around this custard and the custard will start to set, a little bit like the inside of a creme brulee. So it's gonna make it really rich and moist. So just make sure they're all nicely full. And then that goes into an oven at 180 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes. That looks and smells amazing. While that cools, I've got a couple of sugar cubes. I'm just gonna bash them up a bit. It's gonna make a bit of mess, but it doesn't matter. And while it's still warm, just sprinkle that over the top for a lovely little bit of crunch. And then leave it to cool before cutting into squares. And my rhubarb and custard tray bake is ready to serve. All that's missing is a cup of tea.